welcome back Nailville foodies and we are back again with another video and before you do anything i need you to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button right now also hit the notification button so you can get all notifications when we post up our videos and guys we have got a treat for you on today we are doing red velvet cornbread yes you heard right red velvet cornbread and for your ingredients you're going to need sugar you're going to need uh white and brown sugar you're going to need all-purpose flour you're going to need cornmeal you're going to need eggs you're going to need um buttermilk you're going to need vinegar and baking soda now if you have baking powder you don't need the vinegar and the baking soda but because i didn't have baking powder i used baking soda and vinegar which that is a substitute because basically that's what baking powder is um, you're also going to need some salt you're going to need your chocolate cocoa um, you're going to need some butter flavor shortening guys and this is very important butter flavor shortening you're going to need um, some red food coloring and one thing I forgot to put out guys is the vanilla extract so um, we're going to go ahead and get started I hope you enjoy this video so the first thing we did we have one cup of flour and one cup of meal I didn't realize that I wasn't recording when I put the uh, flour in but it's one cup of flour and one cup of meal then you want a half cup of white sugar and then a half cup of brown sugar you also after you add that you want to add one uh, teaspoon of baking soda one teaspoon guys of baking soda and then we're going to add um, one teaspoon of salt and after we add our salt, we're going to add one tablespoon of our cocoa powder. And before um, we add our wet ingredients, we're going to go ahead and mix all of our dry ingredients together to get all of this incorporated really well. Um, and once we have this incorporated really well, we will go ahead and start with our wet ingredients, which consists of two eggs and one and a half cups of buttermilk one and a half cups of buttermilk um what else okay and we also um the you're gonna need a fourth cup of your butter flavor shortening this is very important guys for this recipe you need to get that in the microwave because you want to have that already being melted um right now we're adding our two teaspoons of vinegar and then we're going to get our shortening out of the microwave and you want it to, you want to add it slowly um because it is hot and you don't want this your eggs to cook so you're kind of tempering it in um but once you get the one fourth cup of buttered flavor shortening in, you're just gonna mix everything together. After you mix everything together, you want to go ahead and add in one teaspoon of your vanilla extract. And as you can see, the consistency is really good um, with this batter. It's not mixed all the way yet because we need to add our vanilla extract. So we're adding in one teaspoon and once we get that added in we're just going to mix this really really well now as far as the food coloring now you can add a couple of drops you can add a lot it all depends on how red you want your um cornbread to be this red velvet cornbread i added a total of about a full teaspoon because as you see when i first added it it kind of looked pink to me and so i really wanted it that red kind of crimson color and so we did add um a few more drops of that food coloring to get it to the right red consistency that we wanted for our cornbread now honey it's your kitchen do what you want you can add the whole bottle if you want to but 
but I think this red was um, good enough for me. And then it's going to get darker anyway when it cooks. And so we have our 13 by 9 and we're spraying that um, with a cooking spray. And then we're just adding our cornbread to the pan. And you want to have your oven already preheated on 425. And we're going to let this cook for 25 minutes. Um, now, while this is cooking, I wanted to make a butter and um, honey glaze. Just kind of mix it together so I can spread it on top when it comes out as soon as it's, it's hot. So I just, I just did like a half a stick of butter and about a tablespoon of honey and just kind of mix that around till the honey was incorporated into the butter. And now um, we've taken it out of the oven. As you can see, it is so pretty, y'all. Um, we took our butter and we just rubbed it while it was hot right on our cornbread. You guys, I don't really care for red velvet cake. So I was kind of even skeptical to make this, but baby, it was the bomb do you hear me it was on point please share this recipe um share it on your facebook your instagram tiktok wherever all your social media platforms guys you would not be disappointed make this red velvet cornbread baby it is fire do you hear me listen i tasted it i was ready to smack somebody my kids loved it. They literally has almost, they, they almost done ate the whole pan of cornbread. I had to make them stop. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you all once again. We love you guys. Remember, it's your kitchen. Do what you want.